Hey guys, this is Maliha from the site blogger and today I have a quick Canva tutorial. So if you go to Canva design editor, you may have noticed that something has changed. For example, if you go to the top left corner, the place where there used to be a resize option has now changed and you should see magic switch. But don't worry because the resize is under magic switch. So it hasn't gone away or anything. It just changed how it looks and the way it works has changed a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. So today I wanna show you um, how to use the, ma the magic switch option to resize your designs and the things that have changed and um, a couple other quick tips. So let's start. Right now I have a design window open and this is an Instagram story template that I'm working on. It's not my template, it's a template that I picked from Canvas template library just for this tutorial, but the design isn't important. I just wanna show you the resize options. So um, this is an Instagram story template and let's say that I need to resize it to something else. So instead of going to resize because we don't have that option anymore, you will just click on magic switch on the top left corner right next to the file option. This is exactly where resize used to be before, but now it has it's just called something different magic switch and it comes with a couple other different things. So for example, when you click magic switch, right away you see that you have two new things, translate and transform into doc. So if you're someone who needs to translate your designs into different languages, you'll click translate and then follow the prompts from there. And if you're, if you're someone who works with Canva docs quite a bit, if you have a design that needs to be summarized, let's say into a doc, um, you want AI to summarize your blog post or whatever you're working on into a doc, then you'll click that. Now, I personally don't use translate or transform into doc quite a bit, or at all actually, um, because that's not really the type of business I run. But if you are looking for, if you're someone who needs those two options, the translate and the transform into doc, that's where you will find them. Now let's talk about the resize option because I do end up using resize quite a bit. Um, so the resize here looks slightly different. The first thing you see is a list of things that you know um, Canva is showing you based on the sizes that you have recently worked with. So um, Canva just assuming that maybe those are the sizes you want, so it's just showing you right at the top. But if those are not the sizes you wanna work with, if you scroll down, if you look below that, um, you'll see other options. So you'll see browse by category where you can choose custom size, you can choose social media, print products, presentation, videos, websites. And if you click more, then you'll see a whole lot more options to resize into quickly. Now let's go back and just play around with social media because the template that I'm working with right now, this is a social media template. It's an Instagram story template. Now let's say that I want to convert it into Instagram, like a square shape. So I can click social media and then I can click Instagram post. But as you can see, there are plenty of other options available, but let's say that I wanna work with Instagram square post. So I will click that, I will check that, and then I will click continue. When I click continue, it gives me two options, either resize this design that you're currently on, uh, in which case it will just get rid of the current dimensions that you have and convert it into a square shape Instagram post, or you can click copy and resize, which will keep the current design intact and will simply create a new design. It will create a copy of the current design you have, but with different dimensions, the square dimensions. So you can click on whichever you think you need. 
Now let me show you custom size. So if I go back to the first window and I have a custom dimension in mind, then I will click the custom size. And this is probably something you're a little more familiar with because um, before Magic Switch, um, if you clicked on Resize, this is what you saw, something similar to this. So here you can specify your custom sizes. So let's say that I want custom sizes 500 pixels by 1000 pixels. Let's say that that's the dimension I want. So you will specify your custom size and then you can click continue and when you click continue this is something interesting remember that before we specified custom size i actually chose instagram square post so right now canva has saved both of those options so it's asking me if i want to resize to two designs so if you click that it will basically create two copies of this design one of them will be instagram post a square post and the other is going to be a five, 500 pixel by 1000 pixel post now let's say that you want to create both of those so you can just click resize to two designs and it will create two designs but let's say that you don't want both of them you just want the instagram post how do you do that simply go back until you get to the first page or the first uh, first drop down options and then you'll see that over here under resize if you follow my cursor the yellow blob you'll see that under resize the two different sizes are checked so here you can uncheck one of them if you don't want both of them you can uncheck one of them so let's say that I just want to keep the square Instagram post, but not the 500 by 1000 pixels. So I will uncheck that and then click continue again. And now I can again either choose to resize this design or copy and resize to create a new design or a copy of the design, which is going to be the Instagram square post. So that's it. It's uh you know it's it's just uh it's still the functionalities are still exactly the same as far as the resize goes. It just looks a little different. It's under magic switch now. And in terms of how the feature the, the resize option works, that's changed a little bit. Um in some ways it's better than before for example you can create multiple sizes without having to leave the window and coming back and creating more of them um and then you know in some other ways it, is, it has created a little more work so for example if you just want to create one custom size you know it's just a couple of steps that you have to add to your workflow but other than that the functionality remains exactly the same you can still resize your design however many times you want in whichever dimensions you want whether it's custom or some of the pre-built sizes that canva offers for quick um, you know quick customization or quick switch to uh, sizes um so yeah that's that's pretty much it i just wanted to show you um because i know a lot of you probably like me use the resize option quite a bit and if you got a little scared earlier this month when you came to a canva design and didn't see the resize option don't worry it's still there it's just under magic switch so if you click on magic switch you should see the resize option right there so anyway that's how it works now and um, i just wanted to show you hopefully it was helpful to you and if it was um follow my channel and subscribe um, and come back for more later. Bye.